Hello everyone, my name is David Pugh. I'm a staff scientist at the CALS Visualization Core Laboratory. In this short webinar, I'm going to show you how to install Miniconda into your IBEX home directory. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and log in to IBEX. So I've logged into IBEX in this terminal right over here. The next thing you're going to need to do is open a web browser and visit this URL. So this is the URL for the repository on GitHub that contains all of the uh, instructions and install and uninstall scripts that are required to kind of automate the process of installing Miniconda into your IBEX home directory. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is clone this repository into our home directory. So when you log into IBEX, you're automatically dumped into your home directory. Um, and we can run the uh, PWD command to see whether or not we are in fact in your user home directory. Now, so here I am in the IBEX training home directory. Your home directory will obviously have your username there. Um, and at this point, we can run uh, ls just to see the contents of your user directory. Now, your user home directory will probably have quite a lot of things there. Um, this training user uh, doesn't have really anything in its home directory. Um, so don't be bothered if you have a whole bunch of stuff in your home directory that's obviously expected. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clone this repository from GitHub into our home directory. So we can come down here, and since we're already in the home directory, we can just copy the git clone command and paste it into our terminal, and then hit enter. Okay, and now if we run ls again, we'll see that we have this new directory, the ibex miniconda install. And if we change directories into that directory, we can see that we have the files um, that uh, are actually here, a license, a readme, an install, and an uninstall script. So the script that we're interested in is the, um, is the install script. So let's take a look at the contents of that uh, installation script before we run it. So the first thing we need to do is actually download the uh, Miniconda 3 installer script itself for Linux from the uh, from Anaconda. So that's this line here, this wget uh, line. Um, then we're going to run the installer script with bash, and then we're just going to delete it just to clean things up and keep tidy. Then that installer script is going to um, make some changes to your uh, bash rc uh, file in your home directory. And this is going to enable um, uh, certain conda commands to uh, work properly from shells and subshells and things like that. So we need to resource that uh, bash rc so that those modifications will be uh, will take effect in the current shell that we're in. And then lastly, we're going to run this conda update command just to make sure that we have the most recent version of conda. Now the installer will grab the most recent version of mini conda, but the conda tool itself um, sometimes has more recent versions available than the version that is packaged with the latest version of Miniconda. I know it's a bit confusing, but this last conda update command will just make sure that we have, in fact, the latest version of conda. Okay, so now that we know uh, what is in that uh, installer script, we can go ahead and run it. So we'll just do source install Miniconda. And so now we are, uh, we've downloaded the installer script and we are going through the, the steps of the installer script from Anaconda. So the first, we're gonna be asked to review the license agreement so we can hit enter. And then we can just press the space bar. So this is a standard three clause BSD license. The um, uh, Conda is an open source tool. So we can just kind of scan through here um, until we get to the end and then we just type yes and hit enter. The next question we're going to be asked is where do we want to install Miniconda 3? And you should accept the default uh, location, which would be to install directly into your home directory at this path, um, home slash your username slash Miniconda 3. So we'll just hit enter again so that we install there. And now the Miniconda 3 distribution is being installed. And this shouldn't take too terribly long, at most uh, a few minutes. but it will depend to some degree on the uh, speed of the internet connection, which should be pretty good. 
um, and the um, the extent to which other people are uh, hitting the home directory servers with lots of IO. So we can see that this initial uh, base conda environment is being created. And it, the base environment is created in, again, our home IVEX mini conda 3 directory. And these are all the things that are installed as part of this base environment, which includes um, Python. Uh, where is Python? So Python should be here. Yep, so we'll have Python 3.8.3. .3, and it will also install pip. And then these other libraries are, um, are libraries that uh, Conda requires to interact with the operating system itself. So in this case, Linux. And then of course, I guess we'll have the Conda tool here, version 4.8.3. Okay, let's see if this is finished. Installed, installed. Okay, so once that base environment will be installed, you're asked if you want to initialize the um, mini conda 3 by running conda in it and i highly recommend that you just type yes and hit enter so this is going to set up your um your uh, bash profile so that uh, the conda activate command works properly and so that the base environment is automatically available whenever you log into or log out or log into events and now what is running is this update command. So if we look at the update command, so we can see that actually Conda 4.8.5 is the most recent version of Conda. So there've been a couple of patches since the mini Conda distribution was released. And this update command is just grabbing those patches as well as more recent versions of the other uh, OS specific packages that are required. And so we're downloading, and so now we're installing the packages for this update. And that's it, we're done. So now if you were to type uh, which conda, you could see that the conda executable is indeed found in the mini conda 3 bin directory. And then if we were to type conda dash dash version, we'll see that the conda version that we have is 4.8.5, which is as expected. Okay, um, one last thing that I wanted to cover. So the default setup with conda will be whenever you log into IBEX, by default, the, the base uh, environment will automatically be activated. Um, now I tend to like this, I tend to view it as a feature. However, um, if you don't like it, that's fine. You can configure this behavior. So in particular, um, there is a section in the readme of the GitHub repo on deactivating Conda's base environment on login. And so basically there is this command here, which will um, create a .conda RC configuration file and it will set this auto activate base to be false. And then that means whenever you log into um, to IBEX, this base environment will not automatically be activated. So if I run this command, let's and hit enter, then um, the now my conda configuration file has been changed, and we can actually uh, look at the conda rc file to see that that change has actually been reflected. So the next time I um, I log out and then log back into IVAX, then the base environment will no longer be active. But the conda, uh, the conda tool will be there and the conda activate commands and everything will work normally. It's just that by default, the base environment will not be there. Of course, um, you can run this command again if you wanted to set it back to true. And then you can see that it has been set back to true. So you kind of decide how you want to uh, configure the base environment as you see fit. Okay, so that kind of concludes this, uh, this webinar. So at this point you have seen how to uh, clone the GitHub repository and then run the installer script to install uh, mini conda distribution and the conda tool into your home directory on IBEX. So at this point you are ready to go with 
um, learning how to use Conda to manage your data science and machine learning software stacks for all the work that you're going to be doing on IMAX.